Now let's talk about continuity versus differentiability. Theorem 2.1 says that if f is differentiable at x equals c, then f is also continuous at x equals c. Now sometimes we need to look at um, differentiability on a closed interval. So we define the limit as x approaches c from the left of f of x minus c divided by x minus c as the left derivative. And the limit as x approaches c from the right of f of x minus f of c divided by x minus c as the right derivative. And we say that a uh, function is differentiable on a closed interval if the left derivative exists, if it's differentiable on the, on the open interval, and then the left derivative exists and the right derivative exists. Now, if a function is differentiable at x equals c, that does mean it is also continuous at x equals c. However, so a lot of times you'll see me write like this. However, just because a function is continuous, that does not mean it is differentiable. Let's look at some reasons why a function might not be differentiable. Clearly, if it's not continuous, then it's not differentiable. If it has sharp turns or corners, it's not differentiable. And if it has vertical tangents, it's not differentiable. So let's look at the absolute or the greatest integer function. At every integer, this function is discontinuous. Therefore, it's also not differentiable. Now, this is the absolute value function. Now, when you deal with absolute value functions, I want you to go ahead and write them as piecewise functions. So this is equal to x minus 2 for x greater than or equal to 2, to, to 2. And it's equal to negative x minus 2 for x less than 2. Now, the next thing I want you to do is to write the right and left-handed limits. So the limit as x approaches 2, let's do from the right first. It's f of x minus f of 2 divided by x minus 2. Now coming from the right, that's this side over here. All right, so this is the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of x minus 2 minus, now f of 2 is equal to 0 divided by x minus 2, and I see this is plus 1. Now let me do the left limit. This is the limit as x approaches 2 from the left. This is f of x minus f of 2 divided by x minus 2. So this is the limit as x approaches 2 from the left. Now, this is now this function. So this is negative x minus 2 minus 0 divided by x minus 2. And this is negative 1. So we say this is not differentiable. Why? Because the left limit does not equal the right limit. Now let's look at this um, x to the one third. This is gives is going to wind up giving us a vertical tangent at x equals zero. But let's find it. Let me look at the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x minus f evaluated at 0 divided by x minus 0. Always write your definition down. So f of x is just x to the 1 third minus f of 0 is 0, divided by x minus 0. Huh. Now let me simplify this down a little bit. This is a limit as x approaches 0 of x to the minus 2 
thirds. Hmm. Now this is unbounded. It doesn't matter whether I'm coming from the left or the right. This square is going to make it positive. Let me rewrite this to show you. This is 1 over x to the 1 third squared. So it doesn't matter whether I'm coming from the left or the right. This is going to be positive. And as x gets close to 0, it's going to become infinite. So this derivative also does not exist. 